Good morning, folks. Does this count as the Weather Channel fear-mongering? Want to guess a timeline on that 100 million dead? 100 years? 50? How about 18? Slightly better news here. Russia flips Monsanto the bird over that same rat cancer study. Well played. The ISS may need to maneuver out of the way of space debris today. Hope they film that if it happens. Top news, the double eight-pointers in Sumatra April 11th tore apart a chunk of the planet. This is interesting, especially with all the volcanoes in the area, plus that one buoy we got our eyes on. You may remember that George Marmorenu indicated that that was a signaling of a crustal breakup just days after those quakes. He hadn't even seen the bigger one that hit the Philippine weeks after. Most called him crazy back then. You may remember there was no tsunami because it was a strike slip and not a thrust. Strike slips apparently can cause quakes across the globe for days. This article, the experts blame the Sumatra double eight pointers for all these quakes here. Some of you undoubtedly remember those. Well, since I mentioned the buoy, let's check it out again. We have come into a period of relative calm this morning, but not before the sea level fell dozens of meters more just yesterday. Without adjacent buoy confirmation of surface deviation, we must assume that this is a rise in the sea floor. And while I'm here in Volcano Central, Mount Merapi erupted yesterday. For the second day in a row, a large earthquake ripped L waves across the planet. A 6.9 rattled the Aleutian Islands in Alaska last night. We had one measurement that hit 7.1. And as of this morning, the USGS downgraded to a 6.4. Quick check of yesterday's precipitation records. All but one is in Colorado, mostly Larimer County, actually. Love to get some comments from locals about what you saw, if any of you are tuning in. Having a look at tropical systems, starting with the super typhoon that keeps teasing us by weakening and ramping back up, starting to affect civilization now while across the Pacific, Miriam has lost form off the coast of Mexico and is now mostly a rain event. You remember this thing with the Canada to Africa anomaly? Zap again, but it's not harp, not gamma bursts, or alien rays. You remember last time I showed you this white blotch in the South Pacific? That's where the layering got messed up. They missed a spot. Well, sometimes they overlap way too much as well, and the colors become distorted. Sorry, folks, this is literally nothing. The sun has not really been active for a while. We have a few thin plasma filaments posing eruption threat, but no substance behind it. NOAA has one active region labeled Beta Gamma. It's the same decaying relic turning away from Earth. Technically, it's got the magnetics mixed and as such, but I would probably guess the southeastern limb is the more likely flare zone. Those are some big spots. Any morphing at all and watch out. We may get bigger flares in the coming days to accompany an earthquake ramp up as Earth is less than 2 degrees from heliocentrically conjoining Uranus today. It's another way of saying that we're approaching the Uranus geocentric opposition of the Sun, then things get really interesting heading into October. Let's hope that Alaska quake is as bad as it gets here. Eyes open with no fear, folks. It's pushing 6 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.